There we go. All right. Chapter four, the impulses of old. Really now? Who do those Akihabara freedom fighters think they are? Meh, I wouldn't worry about them. I didn't think they seemed like bad people or anything. You say people, I say weirdos. Still, they seem mostly harmless. Harmless? No, they're a huge problem. Did do. you hear what their boss said? <laughs> they're trying to nullify the delusions. That's our job. The nerve. I swear. Uh, Master Asahi. Roy, how are you feeling? Oh, much better. But I can't shake the feeling that I've somehow caused you and your friends a lot of trouble. Nah, not at all. Don't even worry about it. I'm just glad you're okay. That goes for me, too. Oh, thank you. But, um, Master Asahi, may I ask you something? Yeah, what's up? Why am I here? And why are you and your friends watching over me? Oh, uh, that's... Uh... I remember being in a very strange place. It was very blue and a bit gaudy, to be frank. And I have this memory of going somewhere else, too. Somewhere that kind of resembled a shop, but kind of didn't. Hey, what's going on here? Isn't she not supposed to remember all this? Moe, would you mind telling us everything you remember? Oh, certainly. Um, I feel like I fought something. With Master Asahi and the rest of you at my side. But my memories of doing so were very hazy. I like how she's still in character. I remember more than I would have expected. I believe this is a type of after image. After image? Sometimes, after all is said and done, the Deluser remembers bits and pieces of the experience. Oh yeah, the audio guy remembered a little too, didn't he? Yes, and that's about what you can expect out of a Deluser. Barring rare cases like reuse, of course. Although pieces of the delusion are still present, they always fade and disappear with time. Do you think she's alright? For sure? Could it be that you and your friends saved me from the world inside my dreams, Master Asahi? Hmm, that's a pretty loaded question. Let's call it half true and half not. We did rescue you, but it still seems you're caught up in the delusion to an extent. Well, um, is there anything I can do to repay you for your kindness? Oh, no, we don't need anything. We helped you because we wanted to. The sentiment alone is thanks enough. We're very appreciative, Moe. Mm, I'm not sure I can accept that. Someday, somehow, please allow me to do something to make this up to you. Oh, uh, okay. We'll think of something and let you know. All right. Thank you very much. Moe! <laughs> Nana! Let's go back home together, okay? The roads at night aren't safe for a lone girl. You might even get kidnapped. Thank you for looking out, Nana. Whatever you all did for me today, I am most grateful. Until next time. Yeah, yeah, just get the hell up out of here. I guess that wraps up the maid delusion chapter of our story. There's still one very important question left unanswered, though. Who was the man in the pink cape? No, not -uh. Superman. You're not seriously suggesting we go search for him now, are you? We've done enough for one day. And I'm so tired, I feel like I might fall over and shatter into a million pieces and die. Really now? You can be such a prima donna. Is how I'd respond to that if I weren't so exhausted myself. It's been a long, complicated day. I'm pretty tuckered out too. Let's pick this up tomorrow. Say, one o'clock again? You including me in this too? Of course I am. Did you forget you promised you'd join us in our quest? No, I didn't forget. Because I never promised you a damn thing. Just give it up, man. Even if you refuse, they'll just show up at your house and drag you out. Happened to me. What? Two o'clock, huh? Not the latest I've ever been. I'm probably safe at least, huh? You're late. Hey, Yamato. Morning. Looks like you decided to join us after all. Could it be you were looking forward to this? Hell no. Whatever you say. Where are Saki and Mippity anyway? That's what I'd like to know. Good morning. Well, this is quite a surprise. You made it here right on time. What are you talking about, right on time? Wait. 
Yeah, now I see what you did. I planned for us to meet at two from the start. So I lied and told you it was one so you'd actually show up on time. <laughs> I was in on it. Sorry. Now that's just devious. So you kept me waiting an extra hour for no reason at all. Where's my apology? Now that the gang's all here, let's get to <laughs> shall we? Oh, what Master apology. Asahi. Hey, Moe. What brings you all the way out here? Looking for you and your friends, as a matter of fact. Really? What do you need us for? On my way to the cafe this morning, I encountered a strange door. Then I remembered what happened yesterday and knew I had to find you. So, the door jogged your memory then? Not exactly. I still don't remember everything, but I know enough to say that things in Akihabara aren't right. So I wanted to come out and give you something as a token of my appreciation. You seriously hunted us down just to thank us? I mean, we would have stopped in at your cafe sooner or later. Well, you and your friends are busy destroying the delusion spreading through Akihabara, right? What? That's exactly right! So I thought there was no time to waste. Look, there really is. So she's the first person that I realized that actually said Akihabara, right? It's nothing big. I can tomorrow. Maybe I could show you around Akihabara. If you wouldn't mind, of course. Show us yeah, around. close enough. Um, at our cafe, we maids offer a tour guide service for tourists and those who might not be as familiar with the town. We show them the famous sites and most interesting lesser known spots. It's been very popular with our guests. So I thought I would extend the offer to you as a way of saying thanks. You're patrolling the town for clues, are you not? A little extra structure in your route could prove beneficial. I appreciate your very gracious offer, but I think it would be best not to involve you any further. Miss Maid, I welcome your tour with open little arms! <gasps> Master Pinkoon at your service! Not the time, Pinkoon. Oh, come on! If I'm gonna keep fighting for Akihabara, I think I should at least learn a little more about it! He's got a point. You have to encourage this? I'm interested too. Besides, it gives me a chance to learn some things from Moe. And there are sure to be lots of places none of us know about. We should learn more for the good of our mission. Either way is fine by me. <sighs> fine. But only so we can look for new delusions that might have cropped up. This is work, got it? Work! Mr. Saki, thank you so much. My spirits are already soaring. Shall we get started then? I can hardly wait to tour with all of you. And especially you, Master Pinkun. Yeah, hee hee! You're not free to enter the next area. Yeah, well, we already right there. Oh, and he got a car shop over here too, so that's good for us. Here, you can see the famous Radiola Kaikon Assembly Hall. This is such a prominent building, but I can't say I've ever been inside. What's in there anyway? Oh, please allow me to explain. Established in 1953, the Radiola Kaikon building is now a staple of the Electric Town exit from Akihabara Station. Due to weathering and decay, it was closed for renovations in 2011, but reopened with renewed vigor in 2014. Originally, as its name would imply, it was a hub of stores selling parts for radios and other electronic devices. But now, in keeping with the changing times, it's full of stores that sell manga, figurines, trading cards, etc. And they've all got pretty good selections, too. Hmm? Yamato, have you been here before? Uh-huh. Oh, uh, nah. Just heard about it from my brother, is all. Well, your brother is quite correct. Every store is full to bursting with goods. There's nothing you can't find. It's a collectible shop. Perhaps we can buy some trading cards here. Oh, I believe we may be about to trigger an event. It's a save point. Perhaps we should make use of it. 
action. Later. Shall we stock up on items? Be certain you purchase enough. And here we have the famous electronic superstore, Tonoden. I've heard of it before, but this is the closest to it I've ever been. You might not know the store very well, but you simply must be familiar with its commercial jingle. I'm afraid I'm not. How does it go? Allow me to sing it for you, if I may. <clears throat> Tono Den, pay less yen. The future's here. We hold tech dear. Is about how it goes. Woo! Clap, clap, clap! Moe, you're a really good singer! Well, I do think I recognize it now. If you've heard it once, it will linger in your brain forever. It's like a magic jingle. A relic from a time when Akihabara was a consumer electronics haven. Where we go into this? It's a save point. Perhaps we should make use of it. If you're going to buy items, do be certain to spend wisely. Here we have what's commonly known as Junk Street. Question, why is it called that? Do you know? A very good question. I do, in fact. This street has shops selling PC parts and other electronic components in abundance. In fact, it's famous for having shops with so much on offer that they have to display much of it outside. Not all of these products are new, however. Lots of them are actually scrap, or in other words, junk. Thus, over time, people came to refer to this as Junk Street. Well, I certainly learned something new today. Thank you very much. I feel a little bit smarter now. Oh, but Mistress Ryu, I'm not done yet. I still have one more bonus topic to tell you about. In recent years, Junk Street has seen more than just retail outlets, but an influx of restaurants as well. From kebabs to ramen and spit roasts to gelato, Junk Street now sells junk food in abundance as well. You got the money, I got the goods. Step right up and take a look. <sighs> There are even junk people here! Wait, it's you! Huh. Yeah, that black marketer lady. Good day to you, Mr. Shariko. You know her? Of course. Mr. Shariko is quite famous around here. To those in the know, at least. <sighs> I feel like a freaking celebrity in this town. Isn't that bad for business? Speaking of which, isn't it a little early and I mean, right to be making illicit deals? Oh, out here, I sling something a little different. What do you say? You want to get a hit of a quest or two? Sorry, did you just say quest? You got a listening problem? You feel like doing something for someone, you talk to me. Got lots of work to offer you. Don't know if you saw the shirt, but I'm really not looking for work. Trust me. Uh, except quest claim quest will earn, earn gratitude and more importantly rewards and check which quest you currently have in progress from the record station main street a clothes shop shall we take a look before moving on
Hey, Moe, can you tell us a bit more about this place? Certainly. What would you like to know? Well, I've always kind of wondered what it is. It feels very un Akihabara-like to me. It's called UBX. It was created as part of the redevelopment of Akihabara in 2006. It's all offices from the fifth floor up, though, so it does clash a little with the usual image of Akihabara. But it does have an event hall as well, where you'll find everything from business conferences to anime meetups. Lots of restaurants, too, making it a pretty handy spot for a lunch break. That's right! You can find anything from reasonably priced udon to yakiniku to okonomiyaki here. It's a great lineup. My personal recommendation goes to their 500 yen meals. They come with all-you-can-eat egg, rice bowls, and everything. Huh. I guess I learned something today, too. Thanks, Moe. What am I, chopped liver? Now then, I think that should about do it for the Akihabara tour. For now. For now? Well, I was hoping you'd let me come with you, if it's not too much trouble. What? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd be glad to have you along, but what about work? Will the cafe survive without you? It'll be fine! I wasn't asking you. Dingus. Non is tending the cafe, so it should be all right. Besides which, I can't just ignore things the way they are. For realsies? We appreciate the sentiment, Moe, but we don't want to ask you to skip work and ruin your perfect record for us. Not at all. Mr. Saki, you and your entourage here are my personal saviors. This is the very least I can do. Moe, I want to be just like you when I grow up. You're so... so noble! I guess that's a hearty welcome aboard. Good to have you. No, no, the pleasure's all mine. So, since we've been walking around all day, I'd like to suggest we... We're not going home. Yeah, that's what I figured. But I am glad we walked around as much as we did. It helped us glean some valuable clues. Are you kidding? We didn't glean anything but some helpful Akiba trivia. There wasn't a delusion to be found. You're right. We didn't find any delusions. What we found was something even more valuable. The reason Akihabara is caught in this time loop and the reason delusions have been spreading through the town. What? You figured it out? That's wonderful, Saki! It's related to the history of Akihabara and the town's current state. I don't exactly have proof of this yet, however. What do you mean by that? Akihabara has changed its form from one generation to the next. It's been the radio town, the electric town, and now even the idle town and the maid town. But every time it changed, Various forms of delusion would fill each corner of Akihabara anew. I see where you're going with this. There was once a time when Akihabara was all about audio, too. When the town changes, though, it changes fast. And the old Akihabara is simply left behind, forgotten. Which leaves those who were caught up in the old Akihabara trapped in delusions of the past. And with every new change, their number kept increasing. And now Akihabara itself has been left behind. Unable to move into the future, it simply began to repeat the past. I see, and that would explain all the delusions, too. It's a twofer explanation. Humans carry the past along with them. We're always looking at old memories through rose-colored glasses. So the people who love all the old Akihabaras are deluding themselves about how much better things used to be. And they want the town to stop changing so badly that they've blocked its future from even happening anymore. And so this Sunday will keep restarting. The same day repeated forever and ever. Or at least that's my unfounded theory. I have no proof aside from the fact that Akihabara is a hotbed for delusions. Yeah, so that's great, but what does all this mean for us exactly? It means that if we can nullify every single delusion encroaching upon Akiba, we can break out of the time loop. Oh. Well, that's an easy enough concept to grasp. So we just gotta take down all the Grand Phantasms, then. Not to poke holes in your airtight theory, but how does any of this actually work? If Akihabara is repeating due to a change overload, shouldn't this have happened a long time ago? And how can a bunch of deluded losers in Akihabara cause the entire world to skip like a record? That's the big question. I did say I didn't have any proof. 
It is hard to imagine how and why Akihabara would be able to affect the entire world, to be honest. But still, but still, I think you're right. It must have. And if it has, that would mean... We need to go back to the one remaining delusion in Akihabara. The Chuni delusion. If we get through that, everything might finally be resolved. I had a feeling you were gonna say that. Honestly, this is the place. The delusions came. Shall we enter? It's a safe point. Perhaps we should make use of it. Here. A clothing store in Akihabara? That's rare. Place to try. Uh, a safe point. Shall we take a break? Into the delusion scape, then. Please be certain you're well prepared. really different from the last one that's for sure it's like something out of an anime any thoughts on that Yamato I'm not really an anime guy my brother knows a thing or two though how old is your brother anyway uh I want to say he's uh 25 wow just about the same as mine big age difference isn't it 25 huh he must know a lot of older anime I, I guess yeah focus up now we have to get to the deepest part of this delusion scape. Or have you forgotten what awaits us? Oh, I wish I could. I still feel like the guy in the hood is a scripted event we're meant to lose. The guy in the hood? All right, is this one? Shall we take a break? Is this one we can just run straight to it? Looks 
to be one tough customer, what Not shall so we do? Fast. A customer has been spotted. Shall we engage? This looks to be one tough customer, what shall we do? I believe there may be treasure nearby. Please search thoroughly. already. Hey, is that the hooded man you were talking about? Pretty suspicious, right? And looks real strong, too. And here we are, all low level and without any MacGuffin orbs. Well, I for one have had a new mm -hmm. backing down. Today we oh, will finish the weapon. to accost you out of the blue like this, but mind stepping aside and letting us through? Ye who seek the ancient scar, the time is not right. I'm afraid it's going to have to be, because we're getting through whether you step aside or not. To what end doth ye seek the ancient scar? Doth ye desire to bring about the collapse? So, any of you have any idea what this guy's yammering on about? Yeah, the ancient scar. Could the time be upon us? Huh? What time? Seriously, try using normal people words. Yamato, you know this guy? Can't say I do. Art thou prepared to initiate contact with the ancient scar? Are you saying you'll step aside? Make way for Master Pinkoon! Thou who dost possess the right hand of God, capable of composing the world, I doth await thy answer. Composing the world? That means we'll finally be able to take down this delusion. Afraid not. Your time here is up. Oh, who this plan? The Akihabara Freedom Fighters. <laughs> Can't say I didn't warn you not to get in our way. We got here first. If anything, you're the ones getting in our way. Back down. Jeez, I let you get away last time we met, you know? Really? Was that before or after you were knocked unconscious? And here I was, about to hold back again. No mercy this time, girl! Same here! Nah, Akari, you sit this one out. Hmm? You sure you don't need my help? Fighting these losers ain't gonna be a thing. Let's do this. Here he comes. Alright, this is the ass. Oh, my God. 
has fallen Not quite a bit. Pop this seems pretty cool. As expected. <gasps> you guys cheated. Boss! Hang in there! Come on! You've got another round in you! I know you do! <sighs> You're all talk, aren't you? To be fair, it was four on one. You actually did pretty well, boss. Guess we're out of options. Akari, time for us to beat feet out of here. But we never run away. When the peace of Akiba's on the line, we never give up the fight. Except for times like now. This here's a strategic withdrawal to keep Akihabara safe. But know this. This is the last time I'll ever go easy on you. Now we're even. Even? For what? For dragging me out of that delusion. What the boss is trying to say is, thank you, just in his own special way. Akari! Stop saying stuff that takes away all my mysterious allure. Next time I see y'all, I'm gonna pull out all the stops. Revel in your little victory while you can. So long, fellas. So long, sellers. They're gone. Gone. Adios. Out of sight. Out of fight. So, wait, are they good guys or bad guys? Still can't figure that out. Doesn't matter to me. As long as they're in my way, they're my enemies. World Composer. <laughs> Forgot about him. Answer mine question. Wilst thou lay hands upon the ancient scar? Wilst thou call upon the impulses of old and awaken them into this space? Why don't you tell me what this ancient scar is before I touch it? And I don't get what the impulses of old even are. The time is not yet right, then. Depart now, ye who seek the ancient scar. Psst. Yamato! Play along. We're almost there. What the hell do you want me to say? Hast thou forgotten the verdant spring, composer? The days we spent together seeking the eternity fragment. Eternity fragment? Ha! <laughs> I knew you knew him. I don't! I really, really don't. None of this makes any sense to me. Thus, the time is not right. Depart this place at once. <sighs> May I ask one question first? What dost thou wish to ask of he who observes the passage of time? What is the eighth deadly sin? Who has branded disinterest a sin? Tis nostalgic, the pure white maiden devoid of impurity. Ah. Uh... Yamato, are you sure you don't understand what's going on here? Because that sounds a lot like... No! I have no idea what this is all about! Not at all! Hey, Yamato! Hold up! Asahi, not you too! Saki, we need to chase after them! Oh, I suppose we do. Come on! Friend. Thou canst hear it as well, no? The Eternity Fragment. It remains. Guy just doesn't want to admit that he's a geek. In denial. Yamato, what part of hold up do you not understand? <sighs> what happened back there? <laughs> it has nothing to do with any of you. Of course it does. That man, you do know him, don't you? How many times do I have to tell you that I don't? But... But what? But... nothing. Probably just my mind playing tricks on me. Well, a strange man certainly isn't going to divulge any information. I don't think Yamato wants to either, though. Do you really not know that guy? <laughs> well, I think we've made about as much progress as we're going to for the day. Might as well disband for now. Yamato, will you come back and join us tomorrow as well? Yeah. See you then. Same time and place. Tardiness will not be tolerated. We'll just see about that. It's a collectible shop. Perhaps we can buy some trading cards here.
How many minutes is this win? Oh, that's I don't know it'd be cool if I can actually see this. For whatever reason, I want to say that this is the red, black, yellow, and white. Um, like a parody of that anime. This is actually a real anime. I really want to see this. I'm going to look it up. This place has been celebrating its grand opening every day with the loop. Even the mysterious pink cape has taken a liking to this place, so you know it's good. Come on in. What? Hey, are you serious? N yeah. You just said pink cape's been here. What can you tell me about him? No, I I'm sorry. It was all a fib. What? Why? The pink cape's so famous lately. I thought I could use his name to bring in more people. Famous where? Where do you even hear about him? From the other girls at the cafe and on the net. The net? Just rumors and sightings. People have seen him all over Akiba. Hard not to with his getup. Guess we've got an urban legend on our hands now, huh? Did he do something? Oh, uh, no, nothing at all. Thanks for all the info, though. Yeah, something's up. I should try to scope out some more info on our pink caped crusader. Yamato? Yo, Yamato Hongo! That is you, right? Huh? Hey, man, didn't think you'd still be in Akiba. What were you staring at? Looked like you were kind of zoning out. I... I wasn't staring at anything. Now, if you'll excuse me, I really need to be getting home. You have some business at Game Mars or something? This little time jump, this little uh, fast travel thing is helpful. It's a safe point. Perhaps we should make use of it. I see. You a fan of anime openings and endings? Ah, what are you so surprised for? You really are into this stuff, aren't you? Hell no. Not my style at all. Anyway, I got places to be. Man, dude never misses a chance to run away, does he?
Hmm? A guy in a pink cape? I'm not saying this to sound cool or anything, but I actually just saw him. You did? Where? Hmm, it was either on the side streets or on Junk Street. I can't remember exactly, but I do remember his super eye-catching cape. That's why I saw him in the first place. Is there anything else you can tell me about him? Not really. Other than the cape, I didn't notice anything particular about him. Didn't even see his face. That figures. Sorry, I can't help more. No, I really appreciate the info you gave me, actually. Thank you. Alright, well, let's start. mention it I have heard a few rumors what sort of rumors well I only started hearing them lately but they're all about some little punk tooling around Akiba in a pink cape punk as in a kid huh. hell if I know don't think anyone's been able to tell his age so nobody's seen his face not as far as I've heard no I see thanks for the heads up from yesterday have you remembered who I am yet no um sorry I haven't Asahi you're so heartless and after all our fooling around our nights too numerous and torrid to speak of here whoa hey I think that's something I'd remember pretty clearly if it actually happened <laughs> come on why don't you just tell me who you are already no way until you remember on your own my lips are sealed I want you to make sure you remember every last detail before the next time we meet, okay? If you don't, I'll cry. <laughs> all right, all right already. Next time we meet for sure, I promise. Wait, this means you remember what happened yesterday, doesn't it? <laughs> I remember everything. I even remember what you wrote when you graduated elementary school. You said your dream was to be a baseball player. You were supposed to be playing in the major leagues by now, I think. God, how do you remember that of all things? Even I've forgotten that. But that's beside the point. <laughs> My perfect memory is the reason I even remember yesterday. Because of course I do. Weird things are happening all around us, and nobody else seems to have noticed. Are you a deluser then? Hmm? Oh, no, nothing. Hey, Asahi. Do you want to know the real secret to men and women getting along with each other? Uh, what? There's just one? Sharing secrets. That's the secret. And you and me, Asahi, we're going to share a real deep secret right now. Wait, what? How, uh, how deep are we talking here? Hey now, I know what you're thinking, and you can just stop right there, bub. That is not what I'm talking about. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't be, huh? But meeting here, talking like this, that's our little secret, okay? You can't tell another single soul a thing about it, got it? Promise me. You really shouldn't tease feisty young boys like that, you know. But yeah, that's fine, I promise. <laughs> Thanks. I wonder when we'll see each other next. Um, well... We'll do it just like this, right out of the blue. That way we both have something to look forward to. 
Though if today keeps repeating, we'll never be able to promise to see each other tomorrow. Pretty sucky world, huh? That's one way to put it. Anyway, I should be heading home now. See you later, Asahi. Make sure to remember you said you're going to make sure to remember me before we meet again. I'll try to remember all that. Bye-bye! She wants me to keep our meeting a secret? What an odd girl. But who in the world is she? A clothes shop! Shall we take a look before moving on? Who's still here? If it isn't Yamato, then I thought you'd already gone back home. Huh? Asai? I thought the same of you. Didn't realize you were still in Akihabara. I live here. But anyway, I heard something that bugged me, so I decided to do some sleuthing. But what have you been up to? Between spying on Game Mars and staring at monitors, you've been kind of suspicious. And what are you doing now? Here to buy some trading cards or something? Not at all. Our paths just keep crossing. Nothing suspicious about that. Anyway, I'm out. Heading home for real this time. What are you two doing here? Asahi? Yamato? I thought you two both would have called it a day by now. Well, this is a surprise. Just running a few errands, really. At Game Mars and a card shop? Look, I already told you. You just happened to run into me when I was near those places. I wasn't shopping there. So a chance encounter then. What about you, Asahi? It's not like you to be out and about when you don't have to be. Ouch. I heard about some sightings of the guy in the pink cape, so I've been chasing some leads. Whoa, us too. That's right. It's too much of a mystery to resist, I suppose. Even if we did spend half our time eating cake at a cafe. I didn't know you went to cafes, Saki. What? Of course I do. Who doesn't? <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was an excellent use of our time, too. We heard a number of rumors about our pink man, and the cake was delicious. Oh? He spilled. What'd you hear? Our only consistent piece of testimony seemed to be that he was tall. Tall? That's weird. I heard he was a little punk. That's the exact opposite. But what does it all mean? Hey. Sorry to interrupt your little love-in, but we're done for the day, right? I'm going home. Hold your horses, cowboy. We're all back together and chasing leads anyway, so we might as well keep this momentum going. My, that's a surprisingly proactive thing for you to say, Asahi. I just can't shake this feeling that something bad's about to happen. And I keep thinking about Moe. You and Moe are pretty close, aren't you? Bully for you. I'm going home, though. Later. Hey, just wait for a minute. No, Asahi, we're done for today. We've already said that we'll pick this up in the morning, so let's just do that. Huh. That's a surprisingly non-proactive thing for you to say, Saki. Aren't you always pushing us to keep searching? I am, but it's been a long day. Get some rest, Yamato. Nice work today. Right back at ya. See ya. Guess I'll head home then, too, and play some games or something. No, you won't. Huh? <laughs> Our operation begins. Hmm? What? What's going on? I've been spying on Yamato. Any minute now. Saki! You were right! He went straight for the delusion scape! Thank you, Pinkoon. Come on. We need to go after him. Time to move out. Move out? To where? We're tailing Yamato. You saw it too, right? Saw what too? Whenever he's standing in front of an anime-related shop, he gets all prickly with energy. It only makes sense that he and the Chuni delusion are connected. Oh, yeah, that does make sense. So that's why you let him leave. That's right. And now, we're going to chase him down. But why does he want to go there alone? That's what I plan to find out. It 
It's always good to save regularly, but mindfully. I think Yamato getting ready to go Super Saiyan. Just a hunch. was right on the mark. Do you think Yamato is the deluser behind this delusion then? Too soon to say. All we know for sure is that he has some connection to it. But no matter what that connection is, it's dangerous to go in alone. We need to get in there and help right away. Into the delusion scape then? Please be certain you're well prepared. It's always good to save regularly, but mindfully. It's a customer. Please do ensure you're all presentable. This looks to be one tough customer. What shall we do? I'll set up my eyes. Worthless creatures. I swear. What was he thinking coming in here all by himself? Guess it's time for us to swoop in all heroic and save him. Yeah, it's only right. Hang in there, Yamato. Damn it. I haven't come this far. To lose now. Taking on enemies like this all by your lonesome is a pretty bad life choice. Huh? What are you doing here? We found you! Answer me. Why are... Monsters first, answers later. <laughs> there are three customers. We got the drop on them. Blow you do away! Yeah. Uh, 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 One customer served by Master uh, 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 yeah. Phew. That the last of them? We really do fight our best when we fight together. We know you're hiding something from us, Yamato. Or trying to, at any rate. No matter what it is, though, it's not worth you throwing your life away to cover it up. <laughs> well, thanks anyway. If you really want to thank us, why don't you spill the beans on what you're doing here all alone? <laughs> this is your delusion, isn't it? <sighs> so you're still not willing to talk, huh? I did know that guy. Which guy? The hooded man. Kyoya Izanagi. He knew things that only I should know. That stuff about the ancient scar and the time being right? No, not that. He just... knew things. Things you'd prefer not to discuss in any greater detail, I presume. Very well. That's fine for now. So I take it you came here to ascertain his true identity? Something like that, yeah. All right. Let's get to it then. Huh? We're going with you, stupid. We'll all go meet with Kyoya together. Uh, uh, what is it? Is there a problem? It's not that. Then what are we waiting for? Let's go!
Probably didn't want the whole neighborhood coming after him, that's all. This looks to be one tough customer. What shall I believe I just saw something sparkle from this direction. This looks to be one tough customer. What shall we do? It's a customer. Please do ensure you're all presentable. It's a customer. Two customers. Perhaps you'd like a boot? No problem. Just Just get on us. Yeah. 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 Engage a oh, 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 You are in bad I believe I just saw something sparkle from this direction. It looks to be one tough customer. What shall we do? There are three customers. We got the drop on them, but do be careful. <laughs> Only one phone remains. I believe there may be treasure nearby. Please search thoroughly. It's a customer. Please do ensure you're all presentable. It's a customer. Please do ensure you're all presentable. Shall we proceed through? As your guide, I'll glad... It's always good to save regularly, but mindfully. And there he is, right on cue. Hey, as anticipated, hast thou determined the time is nigh, world composer? Actually, I just want to know who you are, and how you know about that. I am the observer of all eternity. Tis only natural I would know. In that case, what know you of this? The legendary far-off land of green, Anastasia. The scriptures doth tell of a great calamity brought about by the seven deadly sins. And when the eternity fragment is held, the eighth sin awakens. The destruction that follows shall serve as prologue to the world's rebirth. But then what of the world? Will it be bathed in cold light? or warm darkness. That depends on what the creatures of this earth desire. Universal peace, or distended revolution. Who shall be judged king, and who shall take the mantle of God? Shall judgment even suffice? Or shall judgment itself be judged irrelevant in the new order? Whatever avarice remains on earth shall determine if this is the end, or a new beginning. Only thou canst choose. Oh, wow. Just to be the beacon signaling the remaking of the world. I see they're like two halves of okay, the same hole. Anyone have any idea what the heck these two are talking about? Not even the slightest. Composer, thou shalt here decide. Is it to be an end or a beginning? Whence thou touchest the ancient scar, thou must decide what thou wishest from the verdant impulses of old. I choose an end. Thy awakening is not yet complete, twould seem. Yet, perhaps the time is still right. Know this, composer. To reign within these depths doth require more than hope alone. I am aware, but I'll put an end to it. Very well. Thou mayst proceed. Lay thy hands upon the ancient scar. And with them, bring down the final curtain of judgment. But, of course. Well, whatever 
just happened, it looks like we can get through now. Yeah, but what did just happen? We can't just hand wave a spectacle like that away. I'm not sure. Whatever it was, it was something of consequence. Yamato, who or what are you? Just shut up already. I am who I am, and that's nobody special. But if you want to nullify this delusion, then I suggest you get moving. Hey, wait up! We should follow him, Asahi. This is our chance to take down the delusion, apparently. Sure, okay. If you think it's all right for us to just strap into Yamato's crazy roller coaster, then fine. May thy journey be guided by a warm light. Hey, the boy doing all that again. This looks to be one tough customer. What shall we do? I believe I just saw something sparkle from this direction. <gasps> That's a lot of customers. I'll but at least I can <laughs> Be one we 
caught them by surprise, and there are only two. No problem. You can do it. Here we go. Seriously, skilling. A customer has been spotted. Shall we engage? It's a customer. Hot. We caught them by surprise, and there are only two. I'll pull you, you away. Customer has been spotted. Shall we engage? You know, like I said, wild goose chasing, taking me around the world. I gotta buy some more of that stuff. And there's much farther to go. You're not gonna want to let your guard down, though. Sounds like you know what's waiting for us at the end of this place. Yeah, the end and the beginning, and nothing else. I wonder what's gotten into Yamato. I suspect he's still hiding something. I mean, is he really just an ordinary, run of the mill 16 year old boy? Well, the hooded dude did call him the World Composer, which could have any number of nasty implications. Yeah! It's a door! Shall we enter it? Uh, a save point! 
mind. Shall we take a break? Are coming in. Awesome. Just in your school. I'll take care of those first. our grand phantasm huh. I didn't expect I'd have a foe of such grand scale lying in wait for me yet here you are the devourer of heaven and earth looks like a frog to me yep that's definitely a frog there is no quarter for you and your ilk here no mercy return to the scriptures from whence you came it's just a frog <laughs> You dare lay a hand on my dearest companion? Yamato? I still remember those halcyon days. And yet this is to be our reunion. Those days. Mm. 
That time, that place. Here I thought you'd been scattered to the four winds like so many ashes. But perhaps this meeting of ours was foreordained. A folly of fate, actualized by God himself. To finally be able to cross swords with you this way is like a long-forgotten dream. <clears throat> Were you lonely? Did you suffer? Worry no more, for everything will be all right now, because I am here. And I bring the end. Let us disappear together. Let's bury the hatchet deep within the blackest depths of our lost history! Ugh. Don't let the cringeworthiness of all this distract you, Asahi. We've got a fight inbound. <clears throat> Come on, then. Show me the very contents of your burning heart! No one knows you better than I! I it's totally obliging! Let us begin! With my nerves steeled and my soul ablaze! Beginning of the end! I choose you! Well... We can do this, no everybody! Yeah. This thing just hit me dim most. Oh, okay.
the enemy's weak point. Continue in turn.
this do? this dark history of yours, right? Huh? Unless, of course, you don't really want to erase it after all. Wait, what are you saying? All men have dark pasts. Every last one of us. It's a fact of life. I, I don't think... We all have our own personal weapons and our own personal death blow techniques. Stop! Our own personal demons, and our own personal maps to guide us around them. I said stop! And our own personal stories as well. Why won't you stop? You have a story of your own to tell. You're the world composer, Yamato. <coughs> Asahi, mind sharing whatever it is you're talking about with the rest of the class? The true form of this delusion is a fantasy world that sprang from the pages of Yamato's notebook. Or, more specifically, his death notebook, where he chronicles his dark... His death notebook? Wow. History. If that's not a reference. That ancient scar? That's the stuff he wants to forget, which is why it was reopened by his impulses of old. Yamato, is this true? Every word. Yamato. I know, I know. I'm an idiot, and way too old to write nonsense like this, but... I just couldn't help it. So that's why you tried to destroy the delusion on your own. You created it, and you wanted to finish it yourself. Wouldn't you? If all your chewy crap was laid bare for the world to see? It's embarrassing. Not to me, it's not. What? I'm 19 years old, and I still absolutely adore games, anime, and manga. And judging by this ridiculously hackneyed setting, I'd say you do too. <sighs> And that's why you can't bring yourself to destroy this delusion. There's a part of you that loves it. That's not true. I'm here to end this. I'm the only one who can. You don't need to hide your true self anymore, kid. And you don't need to take this place down either. I'm not going to take it away from you. But then, 
What will happen to reality? No one has the right to deny someone else what they love. Except us, of course. What? Oh no! Yamato's delusion! Uh, why? <laughs> <laughs> the Freedom Fighters! Why? Why are you here? <laughs> Tell me! Why, Mizuki? doing here where the hell else would we be it's our job to protect Akiba's freedom remember if there's a delusion to be fought we're gonna be there fighting it you can take that to the bank straight to the bank and it looks like this one's all over but the crime all thanks to my loyal assistant assistant <sighs> come on you two let's mosey there's a job well done party just waiting for us to throw it. Woo! Party! I want to eat curry! Now there's an idea. You get 20 points for that one. Any objections, Mizuki? Hello? Mizuki? Earth to Mizuki! Huh? Oh, sorry. I'm good with anything. That settles it then. Let's go get ourselves some curry. Freedom Fighters! Roll out! Wait! What is it? You finally gonna lay down your unconditional surrender? I just... want to know why, Mizuki. Why? I... don't have anything to say to you. Oh. But... why not? So, what's going on again exactly? Search me. At least the encroachment of the delusion has stopped, I guess. Yeah, but I still remember every damn thing. <sighs> Sahi. Well, look on the bright side. We've now eliminated every last delusion in Akihabara. I don't know if it worked, though. Look at my phone. 12.13. And still Sunday. Well, there goes that theory. <sighs> hey, Asahi? The Freedom Fighter's new accomplice back there... was that...? Yeah... my old friend. That's... what I thought. Anyway, now that the Chuni delusion is gone, we've crossed yet another chapter off this tale. That's something! Doesn't exactly put a smile on my face, though. But at least my dark past has finally been erased. Yamato... Sorry, I need to go. I have to go search for him. I have to. Wait! The ancient scar has vanished. Just the way it should have. I mean, I didn't really have any reason to be embarrassed about it. According to the Neats, at least. Nobody has the right to deny me. So I should just take pride. We saved the world. We're heroes. This is our story. Even if it's lost to history, this nameless hero's still going to have his pride. Imagine games, imagine games. Imagine games. It's not over yet? I think the impulse is old as well. This is another chapter. Oh, dang. This should be where he was waiting for me all this time. We're sorry, but this number is not available at this time. 
Why the hell not? Oh, my. What seems to be the problem? Huh? You know, a contorted expression like... That's a woman? That's a dude. The of the most handsome of men. Who are you? <gasps> Where are my manners? My card. Akemi? That's correct. I am Akemi. A wondrous lady from any angle and by any standard. Ain't no damn woman. Okay. So, now that I've induced myself, may That's I ask what troubles you? It's... Nothing. <laughs> Very well. I shan't force the matter if you don't wish to speak of it. But be aware that simply talking to another can be enough to lighten your heart. One of life's little mysteries. As am I. As you'll see on my card. Violet Eden? It's the name of my store. Or perhaps I should call it a members only bar. But you're always welcome. I'm underage. Not a problem. We serve lunch as well. You'll find us along the side streets. If you have troubles weighing you down, or even a spare moment, please know that our doors are always open. Mm -hmm. If you ever wish to talk, you'll always find a friendly ear. Or more, if you're looking. Perhaps there's a certain maid you've your eye on, or an anime or manga you're simply dying to discuss. We can do that. Or perhaps you'd be more interested in the encroachment of delusions. What? <laughs> There's the reaction I was hoping for. Why don't we discuss the man in the pink cape while we're at it? You know him? But of course. You see that pink's card on the ground there? This? Delusion Contractor Cannon. That's the name of your man in pink. Hmm. Not the plot was the world, isn't it? Next chapter, a world to protect.